Shishugi Bon create walls out of burnt wood. Andy husband and wife duo who love DIY projects. Planning for the shiny, sharing the good. Scott and Debbie, we are Patina Planning. Fire and gas danger disclaimer. If you're looking for guidance to do this project for yourself, please consult professionals and or do it at your own risk. This is the project where we had a bare wall on one entire side of the room um, by our fireplace. So we needed some accent wall and I had been looking online at um, Shishugiban and how they create walls out of burnt wood. So after watching a few different projects, I decided I could try this on my own. Purchased this 50,000 BTU burner from Home Depot and um, commenced to burning wood. Found out it was it burned it really, um, really well. Too well, I had to find out how to scrape it off afterwards. Oh, I thought it was going to be all black. No. Okay. It's wet, so it looks funny. So I purchased some scrapers and parts for my drill to attempt to scrape that off. I used some manual scrapers, uh, stuff with my drill. Finally, after several different tries, I found the right look I was looking for. Once I got the final look, I, bought, I used linseed oil as a sealer and um, preserver because the wood got really dry uh, and I figured it needed some kind of moisture in entering the wood. You'll never get this effect. Um, puts sprays the water so that it cools it down. Now it's wet. When it dries, it'll be white underneath. In this project, I needed some kind of cabinetry I was going to build next to our fireplace on either side. The cabinets um, were very difficult to, it would have taken a lot to come up with the wood value wise. I ended up finding the perfect size cabinets at Costco. They were the perfect measurements and style and color and everything to serve as built-ins on our fireplace wall. Part of the project was putting a mantle up and I ordered from Home Depot right size mantle we were looking at and did the same application of burning that mantle, preserving it and installing it. And the final part of the project was running power and AV equipment uh, to the TV mounting behind the t behind the where the TV is going to mount. So I ran wires through the studs in the wall, so there's power behind the TV before the wood got mounted. This was um, very beneficial after putting the TV up so we, there's no wires, there is not any wires running um, along the wall, it's all internal. And uh, at the end, everything looks much better. It um, creates more of a dark room for watching TV. We mounted, um, LED lighting behind the back of the TV which can be changed color wise and intensity so while we're watching movies we can um, have backlighting for the TV and finally we put in a sound bar for surround sound.
So let me back up and tell you more about how this channel came to be. While Scott was working this project, we had no idea we were going to create a channel. If you know me, you know I typically always have a camera in hand and I just happened to be documenting another Scott's awesome projects for our family memories. Since this project, we remodeled three bathrooms and many more projects, which we're going to be sharing with you all on our channel. This Shusugi Ban feature wall is the project which sparked my love for our house. For about a year after, I would get a big smile on my face every time I saw the feature wall. Oddly enough, Scott doesn't love the wall as much as I do, but he has grown to love it in time. We also got a new sliding glass door. The blinds are on the inside. So cozy, blah to yeah. There you have it, our first ever patina planning video is complete. Thank you for staying and watching to the end. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe. God bless.